Peter Obi on Saturday, August, commended a former member of the People's Democratic Party, Valentine Ozibo, for joining the Labour Party. The former governor appreciated Valentine Ozibo for endorsing his 2023 presidential candidate under the Labour Party. Peter Obi also called on all his supporters across the global to welcome Ozibo to the obedient movement family. The 2023 presidential candidate for the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has reacted to the recent endorsement of his candidate by a former governorship hopeful in Anambra State, Valentine Ozibo. In appreciation, tweet made on, on Saturday, August 20, Obi said, he is grateful to Ozigbo for his endorsement. Describing Ozigbo as his friend and brother, Obi also called on his supporters to welcome the former member of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the Labour Party and obedient family. In addition, Obi said the party and its supporters will take back Nigeria from the different forces holding the nation back. His words. I am grateful for the endorsement by my brother and friend, Valentine Ozibo. Please join me in welcoming him to the Labour Party and to the obedience movement family. Together, we we take back Nigeria, Peter Obi. Also, thousands of Nigerian politicians dump APC PDP, join Labour Party, in top northern states. Some members of the People's Democratic Party and All Progressive Congress have dumped their parties in Nasarawa State. These party members, who are said to be no fewer than 27, left their political parties to join the Labour Party in the state. According to the Labour Party chairman in Nasarawa State, the new members will be officially received into the party in September 2022. Meanwhile, thousands of obedient youth take over streets of Calabar. Different approach to support, they are now using different approach to support the Labour Party 2023 presidential candidate, Mr. Peter Obi. The youth stormed the streets of Calabar in their thousands on a fitness walk for Obi on Saturday, August 13. According to the youth, they are about to take over their country with the possible emergence of Obi and his running mate, Yusuf Darty Baba Ahmed, as leaders of the nation. <laughs> well, the big part of the campaign is yet you know, to come yet. Just wait and see. Now, who no 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 no? You understand? These are the people who mean where for Nigeria. These are the people who have known that the matter when they grant now not be party matter is beyond party matter, is beyond religion, is beyond sentiment. Everybody have to walk. Everybody have to work to make sure that this country is being rescued by those evil people who have taken Nigeria as their private property. So anyhow, when they won't play, they go use Nigeria and play anyhow. They go sit down for their uh, parlor, you know, use Nigeria to play whatever game they want or they are playing. But I'm telling you, this is not going to be business as usual. Nigerians have woken up from slumber. You know, these uh, believe that votes will not count this and that. Don't go to vote, I beg. Now, so then they do them. Um, it will not count. Nigerians have come to realize that if you not go, your vote not go count. We have to come out and vote. Make we see how they go do them. And this is happening because Peter will be emerged as a president. That is why I laugh when people say, Peter will be, we now win. Labour Party have no stretch of this. People are not supporting Labour uh, Peter Obi because he's a member of Labour Party now. No. 
If Peter will be had won the presidential flag bearer of PDP, Nigerians would have supported him in PDP, even when they, they know that PDP is a no-go party. So you see, this issue is a personal stuff. It's based on the person's personality, not the party. So those people who are saying Peter will be cannot win election because he have no he have no structure, the party has no structure and all that, they are just they are just deceiving themselves. They should wake up to know that this matter not be party matter. This this matter is about the person. Make on a look what happened for Ocean State. Nigerians are saying because the Labour Party candidate in a, in our own state cannot even win in his own place. And for that reason, that is the only that is what is going to happen to Peter Obi because he's only popular on social media. They have forgotten that Adeleke won because of him, 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 his personality, not because of PDP. You understand? If not, waiting will make Adeleke win an incumbent governor. One already did the seat. So you see, uh, Nigerians don't wake up. They not send now, say party or whatever. They are voting based on the person, not the party matter. So this is what will shock those people who feel that Peter Obi is not going to win the next election. Honestly speaking, Nigerians have waken up from their slumber. So many things that is even going on. Nigerians are doing to promote Peter Obi. The Peter Obi himself, self, is not even aware. You understand? They are doing it because they are angry. They want these people who are sitting on their glory give chance. That is just the truth. I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for this coming out here. May God bless you all. Bye for now.